Welcome to the Quick Start Guide for the Matric on OPC Tunneler. My name is Roger and I'll be your guide today. This video is designed to help you with the installation and configuration of this product. Firstly, please ensure that you are logged in to Windows as an administrator user. Then, run up the installation program. If any prerequisites are required, the installer will prompt you. Read and accept the license agreement. A username and password is required at this point. This is the user identity that Tunneler will run as. The user must be an administrator user and must have the log on as a service right granted in the local security policy. We recommend that this user have the password never expires option enabled to avoid future issues. The installer provides the option to customise the installation or you can just accept the complete installation. You can change the installation location and customise the start menu folder name. Choose your license situation and then click next. If you are installing on Windows 7 or Windows Server 2008, this option will appear. We recommend proceeding with this enabled. Because Tunneler uses a TCP port for communication, an exception must be made in the Windows firewall. If you would like the installer to make this change for you, you can allow that here. Click Next to begin the installation. This part may take a while. When the installation is completed, this window appears. Uncheck both options and click Finish to close the installer. Note that Tunneler must be installed on all of the PCs that you wish to have OPC communication. Normally this is two PCs where the OPC client resides and where the OPC server resides. I will refer to the OPC client machine as the client side and the OPC server machine as the server side. Please ensure that Tunneler is installed on all machines concerned prior to attempting configuration. The server side will very rarely require any configuration, so we can leave that be for now. On the client machine, please open the Matricon OPC Tunneler client side gateway configuration from the Windows Start menu. Then choose File, Add Remote Tunneler Connection. The name of the machine that you are currently on will appear. Please replace this with the name or IP address of the server side machine. The rest of the settings can remain as default. Click OK to create the connection. If this step fails, please check that the Windows service called Matricon OPC Tunneler SSC is running on the server side PC. Often a typing mistake in the installation phase means that the user details are wrong and therefore the service is unable to start. And this brings us to today's pro tip. To quickly access the Windows services panel, click the start button, then click run or choose search and type services.msc This is a fast way of accessing the services panel. After successfully scanning the server side machine, a list of OPC servers will be returned and registered locally. Notice the name of them. They are prefixed with Tunneler then the machine name or IP address that you defined 
and finally the PROG ID of the OPC server. Matricon OPC Tunneler supports OPC DA, HDA and A&E. If any of the OPC servers on the server side support HDA or A&E, you will see the Tunneler prefix has HDA or AE on the end to help you identify this. To test the tunneled connection is working correctly, please use a test client that is appropriate for the OPC specification that your OPC server supports. Because Matricon OPC Tunneler runs as a Windows service and we have now configured it, I can now close this GUI. In this case I will connect to Matricon OPC Server for Simulations OPC DA interface using the Matricon OPC Explorer test client. Open Matricon OPC Explorer from the Windows Start menu. Then click on the Tunneler connection that points to Matricon OPC Simulation. Then click Connect. Note that there are three of these, so be sure to get the one that is not prefixed with HDA or AE. Then click Add Tags. Notice in the Browse area that you have the folders that your OPC server has, plus an additional folder called Tunstat. Tunstat is a folder of Tunneler statistical items that may be used to monitor the connection and server-side licensing. Please see the section entitled Statistical and Diagnostic Tags in the Matricon OPC Tunneler User Manual for more information. Browse for the tag you wish to add. Then double click to add the tag to the Tags to be added area. Click the green tick up the top left or choose File, then Update and Return. If the tunneler connection is correctly configured, you should see the current value of your selected tag has a quality of good non-specific. And the appropriate value for your tag will be coming through. That concludes the installation and configuration of Matricon OPC Tunneler. We hope you enjoy this product. If you require technical assistance, a user manual has been provided in the Windows Start menu. Under All Programs, Matricon OPC, Tunneler, Help. Or you can contact the friendly team at Matricon OPC Support at www.opcsupport.com or email the team using support at matriconopc.com.